Now it's time for our second part of our overlays. We're going to do a pattern overlay. As you can see here, I have a really great big huge pattern overlay. I got it from Fabric on the internet. And first we want to do is, remember before, we wanted to make a grayscale. So we're going to desaturate it or grayscale in Paint Shop Pro. Then we want to resize it because this is a giant size and we want it to be a pattern so we need to go to image size and see it's 724 by 1024. Let's make it um, how about 300. And we want to constrain proportions because we don't want it to get all distorted. So, oops, we lost it here. Okay, so now it'll be lots smaller. See, it's a lot smaller now. So now what we want to do is go to edit and define pattern. Now, if you're in Paint Shop Pro, see that, and then you click OK. When you're in Paint Shop Pro, the cool thing is, is you know, you can just do the pattern fill. Now we want to open a new image and create it 3600 by 3600. And remember, we're going to do 72 instead of 300 DPI here, pixels per inch. Okay, now we want to go to Fill, and we want to go to Pattern, and you select in your list, see it's right there, and then click Fill, and it should fill a nice pretty pattern for us. Sometimes they're not exactly seamless, so you have to work with it and make it seamless, but you can also make your own patterns and make them seamless. See how pretty that is? So now we're going to go Layer New, and click OK, and we're still going to keep the same color we did before. I like the blue, it's pretty. And we're going to fill it with our, oh no, I filled it with my pattern again. You know, stuff like that happens sometimes. So that's what Undo is for. Undo, Paint Bucket. So make sure that you don't make the same mistake I did and you fill with your foreground and not your pattern so that it does what it's supposed to do. And hopefully yours isn't as slow as mine. It doesn't. Okay, so now we want to go back up to our layer one and click overlay. Or you can do soft light. Sometimes soft light gets you more of the color you want and that's it. We're done with our pattern. Now you can do this with you know, any pattern that you have and work out great, like the polka dot ones that you guys made earlier. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching.